So when we think about solid state batteries, what we're really talking about is that solid state electrolyte placed between the electrodes. And that electrolyte is what we're replacing the liquid flammable component with uh, in these solid state systems. There are really four main options when you look at solid state electrolytes. One option is polymers. Polymer electrolytes are nice because they're flexible and they kind of are plug and play in the lithium ion battery manufacturing process, much more so than the other solid state um, options. So they are very advantageous from that standpoint. However, when you look at a polymer electrolyte on its own, it really isn't quite as conductive as a liquid electrolyte. So what that means is it's very hard to deploy these polymer solid state electrolytes in high charge rate scenarios such as EVs. Another option for solid state is ceramic uh, electrolytes. So these are very hard materials. Think of, you know, like an LLZO. They're very conductive, so they can move the ions just as fast as, say, a liquid electrolyte and therefore be theoretically deployed in, say, an EV scenario. Unfortunately, these materials are very expensive and they're very hard to manufacture at scale. Another material similar to ceramics and its properties are sulfide glasses. These are also brittle, very hard materials, but very conductive. So think again like a liquid electrolyte, something good for, a, for an EV application. However, if they're exposed to atmosphere, they produce very toxic and deadly gases. So from a safety perspective, you have a huge drawback there from a sulfide glass electrolyte. And then that last option is the composite electrolyte. The composite electrolyte really can be any mixture of the previous three components, polymer, ceramic, sulfide. Typically, it's a mix of polymer and uh, ceramic, and you kind of try and get the benefits of both the conductivity and the manufacturability.